When we look at a computer, we see a machine that translates the physical to the digital. Our busy keystrokes are transformed into digital information, zeros and ones, making its way through silicon, transistors, chips, and drives into computation and communication. This machine translates our conceptual and abstract thoughts into digital information through physical buttons and then patterns of zeros and ones. It takes instructions, executes those instructions, performs logical operations, and magically transforms information from physical input to digital data. Consider now moving from the digital to the physical again. We can connect our computer to a printer to produce physical paper documents, or nowadays we may connect our computer to a 3D printer and fabricate physical objects. Or we could connect a computer to a motor and send code to tell the motor to move something. An ever-growing world of software and hardware eases this translation from the digital to the physical. Platforms like Arduino, Makey Makey, and LittleBits translate computer code into the physical environment, allowing anyone to easily make interactive electronic devices. Blurring the boundaries between physical slash digital and human slash machine has exploded in recent years due to emerging fields like human computer interfaces, HCI, haptics, user experience and interface design, UX slash UI, interaction design, physical computing, and many others. Yet, early forms of computation involved no such boundaries. Computers were only physical. In other words, there was no translation process when it came to the actual computation. For centuries, computing and calculating meant using an abacus, the knots of a kipu, or a handful of pebbles. Likewise, some of the first computers were actually the brilliant women at NASA who played a vital role in making complex calculations to help land humans on the moon.